People that drive Teslas be acting like people that drive minivans. I'm just saying. We got our fridge we got our fridge okay so if you've been following there has been like a serious back order on the fridge so originally um, our fridge was supposed to come before we actually closed on the house so that didn't happen we rescheduled for a few days after we closed for the house that didn't happen it got postponed to january the 12th so what we did is we actually canceled that order and we just found another fridge very similar to the one that we originally wanted um, at best buy and they just delivered today so let me just tell you my original washer and dryer um ended up going um, out of stock so we found something through Best Buy they came through on the washer and dryer same thing with this for fridge so let me just give you guys the deets on the fridge this is the Bosch 800 series I'll make sure I put all of the details on the screen when I was looking for a fridge I wanted very clean lines I did not want the ice maker or the water on the front I just wanted it to be very clean and sleek just very just mm. so that's what we have here so we have the French doors and we have the freezer drawer down here so you open it and this is what it looks like it's just so clean and just pretty y'all so all of this is like touch screen here you adjust right there so yeah and it has all of these shelves are adjustable you can have this it comes with these trays you can like move them to where you need them to be um, something that was also very important to me is it did not have that big clunky filter or whatever right there because that just takes away from your space um so this is the water here you basically just press there and you fill your water there um it has a drawer here and then it has two drawers here and you can adjust here this is all touch screen so you can just hit um or you can unlock it for custom or whatever um but yeah, you can adjust it to do have like fruit, uh, meat or fish, vegetables, beverages, um, and then it will automatically adjust to keep the whatever is in these trays at the appropriate temperature to keep them fresh for a longer period of time. And this is what the doors look like. And as you can see, we have our wine little shelf there. And this is Wi-Fi compatible, so you can like link it to your phone and it'll give you like a signal if your door is open. I don't know if that's very important, but for those who are very techy, I think my husband already downloaded the app to his phone. Like, it's that serious to him, y'all. Um, but down here, this is the freezer. But this part is where your ice will go. So you have like your little ice thingy here. It'll have the ice there. You have this drawer here for storage. You have this part here and then you have space there. So yeah, that's just a very, and if you can hear that beeping, that's just letting you know that um, the door is open. Oh, and something else that I'm doing right now is I am boiling Berkeley's pacifier. So if you're new here, I'm obsessed with Ryan Rose pacifiers. This is kind of depressing though because Berkeley has way more pacifiers than this. But the transition from selling our house, living in a tiny house, and now moving here, a lot of our pacifiers have gotten lost in transition. So that's very depressing because I have spent, that's depressing because I've spent 
hundreds of dollars on pacifiers and clips from Ron and Rose. But that is her access her accessory um, to her outfits. So it's just been very hectic, like jumping from house to house to house to house. But I'm not really tripping because I plan on having her weaned off of her pacifier um, by the time that she's one. I don't know because I I have to think I have to remember that all babies are different because Dallas was actually off of his pacifier by six or seven months and I said the same thing with Berkeley but Berkeley is just she be doing her own thing so I don't know I, I say that and I'm like oh please don't let Berkeley be one of those babies that's like two or three years old with the pacifier so as of right now, I said that I'm not really tripping off of the fact that, you know, we've lost so many pacifiers because she will be off of them soon. Um, but who knows? But I mean, it is what it is. It's just pacifiers. you guys everything that we got from Aldi and at the end I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how much we spent so please excuse Berkeley really mama so we got some smoked white cheddar um deli sliced cheese a premium oven roasted turkey breast sriracha sauce um, jalapeno sliced we got this cranberry almond chicken salad if you have an Aldi, you need to try this. This is so bomb, y'all. I'm not sure if this is a seasonal flavor of their chicken salad, but it is delicious. I was in Aldi one day and the lady actually recommended this one to me and it is so good. I literally ate the whole thing in like two days at work one day. So this is it. It's the cranberry almond chicken salad. If you have an Aldi, go try this. It is so bomb. Baby carrots. Pork and beans, two cans of these. And the chicken noodle soup. We have Western style beans. We have Tony Chattery's Creole seasoning. Three cans of pineapple chunks. Oh, so we have two cans of the Western style beans. We have a chunky beef with country vegetable soup and then we also have a chunky chicken broccoli cheese and potato soup so these are the soups a pack of tomatoes on the vine so this comes with a five pack of tomatoes 12 cup of bluebell homemade vanilla ice cream if you don't eat bluebell ice cream you ain't living right these look really good these are um they're called kitchen sink if you know like kitchen sink is basically pretty much everything a mixture um, of everything so this is layer of chocolate fudge brownie layer of blonde brownie with caramel and topped with m m candies and they look so delicious y'all let me show y'all so look and look at it from the side they look really good pistachios sea salt a flatbread Multigrain with flax. These are really good because I make wraps with these. They're really delicious and healthy. These are only 100 calories. We have a six pack of tomato, oh, avocados, three white onions. I got this um, korma. This is like a sauce. It's a creamy yellow simmer sauce with spices and coconut. So basically, um, you mix this, you put this on a like chicken, and I'm gonna put it like over some rice. Oh, I'm so hungry, and this like sounds so good. So I bought some chicken thighs to put this with because that's all, always really good. Um, it's kind of like an Indian dish. We bought these maple flavor pork sausage patties for breakfast. These are fully cooked, I think. 
yeah, fully cooked. Two double packs of toothbrushes. I got these for our guest bathroom in case guests forget their toothbrushes. We got these trail mix chewy granola bars, the fruit and nut um, bars. It has raisin, almond, peanut, and cranberry. We have the sweet and salty nut. So this is chocolatey pretzel and almond dipped in a chocolate flavored coating. Um, oh, the thing about this touchless sink is if you put anything like close to it, it's gonna turn on. And we got White Castle sliders. Two packs at that. Y'all, I love these. Like, I recently just got turned on to these. Like, I recently just tried these, and they are so delicious. Charles was like, they are so nasty, don't try them. But they are so good, I love them. White, White Castle Burger, so we got two packs of these. A bag of spinach, a bag of green, a white seedless grape, a bag of goldfish, chicken and red sauce tamales. I got this slow cooker sauce, it's apple bourbon um, for pulled pork. So basically you need a boneless pork sh shoulder and you put this in a slow cooker and put this sauce on it and apparently it's supposed to taste really good. So I got that to try. Sourdough bread, I'm gonna try making avocado toast with it. Got two things of OJ. Orange juice. We're just gonna be filling up really nicely. Some apple juice. Some cranberry grape juice as well. Two things of strawberries. Two things of blackberries. And also a thing of raspberries. A box of saltines. Wow, we have a 10 pound bag of potatoes. We have a bag of pink lady apples. Some olive oil cooking spray. A 12 pack of beef ramen, a 12 pack of chicken ramen, two things of Capri Suns, thing of eggs. Then we got these um, pre-made salads. So we got two of the Santa Fe style chicken salad. Basically, iceberg lettuce, salsa ranch, dressing Southwest style white meat chicken, Roasted corn, four cheese blended tortilla strips, two of those. We got the Caesar salad with chicken, which is lettuce, white, chicken meat, Caesar dressing, and Parmesan cheese. We got three of those. One of the chef salad with ham and turkey, which is lettuce, ranch dressing, ham, um, Swiss cheese, and turkey breast. And then I got two of these pork simmer cut loins fillets the lemon garlic flavor, two of those. These are the chicken thighs that I got to go with that um, coconut sauce that I was telling you guys about that I'm gonna put over the rice. And then I got a pack of assorted pork chops. And then I got a pack of pork shoulder steaks. And then I got two pizzas. I'm gonna show you really quick. We had already put those in the fridge. Huge pizza. So we got a extra large cheese pizza. Dallas loves cheese pizza. And then we got the mega meat um, pizza. Spicy sausage, pepperoni, beef, patty, crumble, salami, and bacon. So that's what we have. So. That's pretty much gonna conclude what we got from Aldi. You gonna uh, throw it down some more? Babe, I already talking about throwing down like. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all how much we spent. Okay, so so Aldi is kind of like Sam's. Like they don't have bags. They have bags, but you have to buy them. So how much were these bags? Ninety five cents a piece. Ten. Cents. 10? Oh, okay, so these bags were 10 cents a piece. So with all of the food in these bags, we bought 15 of these bags. The total was 213. 
$213 for all of that stuff, y'all. So, I'm telling you, Aldi is the plug, y'all. Good morning. It's currently, okay, Google, what time is it? It's 8.22 a.m. It's 8.22 a.m. Let me show you guys my view. It's bomb waking up to that every morning. Today we're having our third consultation for window treatments come in. We're actually having a painter come in today. It's gonna to be painting the media room. We're actually having um, installers come in to and mount the TVs. Um, I think that's it. We have, I think a consultation for pest control. And I think that's it, y'all. We've had so much for like the past week. We just had appointment after appointment after appointment after appointment after appointment. Moving the chairs out of the media room. We actually bought these earlier this week. Yay, Miss Daddy doing a good job. She cheering you on. She said you did a good job. Hey, Dad, Dad. Yay. Thank you, Mom. I need my coffee. Let's go take a peek. He still has to do touch ups on baseboards, but we want to see the initial reaction. Yeah, come on. I want to see your natural reaction. Slowly, slowly. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> what do y'all think? It's going to look good. Yep. That's so be tight. We decided not to do the C one. I'm gonna do a starry night. That's pretty nice. Pay it. That looks good. Yeah, we don't even need the doors. Yeah, I like how it has the high contrast. So it's like black, white, black, white. That looks cool. <laughs> we have three boxes. How is such a small box? Hey. So we got the purple yeah, mattress. Pillows and sheets. Packages from purple. It's not the purple one. I mean the uh, the one with the purple stuff on it. It's not what? They have another one with the the mesh. It's just a king size pillow. So to zip or not to zip? Adjust your comfort. Flip or the zip guide. Softer, zippers open, firmer, zippers closed. So, um, oh, so you do it like that. So if you want it softer, you unzip it. If you want it firmer, you zip it. So, so this is what they look like. Thumbnail. Not a sponsor. Not sponsored. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is not 
So on to purple soft stretch sheets. We bought this. Sheet set, one flat, one fitted, two pillowcases. Yeah, we're not gonna open them because, but this is just how they come packaged. Um, nice. Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And we will be getting the mattress. Um, it should come later on today. According to Babe, we will be unpackaging the mattress and putting it on the floor to sleep in. We will not be getting our bed until next month. It's on back order. We have ordered it. It's from Crate and Barrel. Um, but with purple mattress, we have 100 days to test out the mattress before we can send it back. So we want to test out the mattress for as long as we can. Um, and we won't have our king size bed until, like I said, January. So I don't know where this mattress is going to go. Because we have a king size bed right now. I mean, a queen size bed right now. So. We can't put the king size mattress on the queen size bed, so yeah, issue. So we eat kid free, and we at Starbucks. Thank you for tuning in, Starbucks. We're gonna get for you tonight. Got bottles in the back. Um, yes. Can I get an ice vanilla upside down Irish cream cold brew? You want me to mix the foam with it? Um, sure. Okay. Upside down. This is the first, sorry. Where's that thing I want? Something cookie. Can I get that mocha cookie thing? The mo the mocha cookie crumble? Yeah. Alright, what size for that? Uh just the uh, regular size. Grande? Yeah. Anything else for you? And sir, um can you actually do mine a grande? I don't want a venti. Sure. Anything else for you? That's it. Can I have your name? Charles. Total is going to be 1083. I'll see you later. Thank you. Whew. It's been a rough, what, 32 weeks? Three what? Three weeks. Wow. Tired. What three weeks? With the kids. <laughs> we have not been with our kids. Okay, so let me tell you guys. Um, how long have we been with that, my mama? Just a week. <laughs> 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 so we literally uh, been, been we literally been without well no it has been two weeks no two it's weeks. been a week how long have we been in our house a week it's been a week 10 days yeah 11 days having my mom with us is like essential what? so Unclear, she's you she's Thank back. You right Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. She's back. Turn the lights so, on. We jumped in the streets as soon as possible. That's yours. I thought I had stuff on mine. Oh no, this is mine. Okay. So, oh, this looks fancy. So, um, somebody on Instagram recommended this to me. Um. Whoever you are, I appreciate it. Let me actually tell you. I don't know if I have it saved who actually recommended it to me. So, Anissa? Anissa, if you're watching, thank you so much. Thanks for the recommendation. Let's see how it tastes our girl. It looks really cool. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has a whole bunch of cinnamon. You get my sanitizer over Oh, this is good. So, anytime, there you go. well, actually, in I the comments. Oh, this is pretty, y'all. Look at Babe's uh, drink. Bye. Look at his drink, y'all. That is so pretty. That's loaded with calories, though. All right, about to drive fast. You holding on? Why not drive fast? Not real fast. If you guys have any um, Starbucks recommendations, leave them. <laughs> People that drive Teslas be acting like people that drive minivans. I'm just saying. But oh. if y'all have any Starbucks recommendations or your favorite Starbucks drink, leave them down in the comments. Bye. He's driving like a madman. So, 
so we're inside of home goods and oh these are the skinny serps that i was telling you guys about and this one caught my eye hmm which one should i try next which one you think i should try i'm almost oh i want to try this white chocolate oh i'm gonna try those ones so here's their wood section this is kind of like what i have been looking for for a while something kind of like this oh this is cool so yeah like this is the wooden ball that i have been looking for i want to use this for fruit so i want to put the fruit on the counter the dilemma is now dallas has come accustomed is now accustomed to cold fruit so he likes his fruit in the refrigerator, like his oranges and his apples. So I'm thinking I want to do all fake oranges in this bowl or lemons. It's just going to be for decoration at this point. So that's where we're going with that. But I have to have this at this point. I don't know why, but I want this so bad. This is so cute, what Dave is going to say. He going to be like, hell no. I'm going to put it in the basket and see what he says. Watch. Where is he? I'm trying to find him. Babe, you find anything? They got some good stuff here. <sighs> Dang, did you get everything? Huh? What'd you get this for? You know, I think it's cute. What'd you think? Mm-mm. <laughs> no? Mm -mm. Why? Because we already got like three slow No, cookers. the red one I'm going to get rid of. Because it's kind of small. This one is cute. It's a collector's edition. It probably don't even work. What you mean? It's not even. It's Who Disney. Makes it? Disney. Disney does not make slow cookers. This is a fake. Star Wars. That thing gonna break. It's cute. It's a collector's edition. Mm -mm. Don't waste thirty dollars on that. I was just joking. I just wanted to get your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> no. Put it back. <laughs> it's cute though. But yeah, we do got too many crock pies. <laughs> oh. Really, babe? You really just did that. So, oh, I needed trash cans for Berkeley's bathroom and the guest bathroom. Found those. And look at these drawer knobs to die for absolutely love these thinking about actually putting these on the bathrooms in Berkeley's bathroom and the guest bathroom so this is a 12 count $12.99 I just want to show you guys these really, really cute socks that I bought, Charles. So, if you have a husband, a father, a man in your life, anyone, I got these cute socks for Charles. They um, monogrammed them. So, these are a navy with pink polka dots. So, they monogrammed those. He is a cigar and whiskey drinker. So we got this cute pair that has the cigar. I mean, if you don't smoke cigars, if you smoke something else, I mean, that could be that. But this is cigar and whiskey. And on the other side, there it is. How cute is that? And then here's another pair. This is just navy and blue. 
and then here's another but this is just a black with a white dot and then <clears throat> for the holiday i had a coupon code where i got this one for free so this came from the company nice laundry this is actually my first time ordering for them but the shipping was super super mama really what's the matter what is the matter she didn't want me to take it out of her hand oh okay this the shipping was super super quick um even with getting them personalized so you have the option to either get them monogrammed or not get them monogrammed um the quality is really really good and they have a million different colors and patterns to choose from so i just want to show you guys these these are super cute i got these for charles for christmas so these are a really good idea for if you have a man that um you know works that's the business i mean that's the business that's the baby monitor y'all here in the background y'all that's my son daddy <laughs> But yeah, cute, cute idea if you have someone that goes to church or um, work or date night or just for anybody that likes to dress up. So I'm probably going to end up buying my dad some of these too. He's retired, but he loves dressing up. So just wanted to share these with you guys. All right. So speaking of socks, he actually has me going through his socks. These are the ones that are in question that he wants to get rid of. So I'm gonna keep buying socks, but apparently he has too many, but I'm gonna keep buying them because I like buying socks. They're the cutest accessory to me. Um, so I have to go through these and see which ones um, he should get rid of because, and he keep buying socks too, because look, those all have tags on them. So you buying socks, I'm buying socks and you said, no, these are too cute. I bought these. I don't know. Not that long ago. So these are all new ones. <gasps> I bought these My too. Girls. No, babe, you cannot get. You haven't even worn these. Do I need these? Um, uh, let me see. Did I buy these? I don't know. Hmm. You probably don't need these. I'm not brought these. <gasps> oh, these. those are so cute. And those. These came from J. Crew. Mm-hmm. Okay. So bought these before Corona. I ain't been able to wear. You don't need these. You haven't really been dressing up for work either. Let me see, what what is this? A duck or something. Oh, that's a mermaid. He, this is not a duck. That's a mermaid? Oh. Yes, these are cute. Oh, when we go like on vacation, you can wear these. These J. Crew socks is clean. Yeah, they have some really cute ones. Okay, all right, so I'm about to go through these socks and see which ones we're gonna get rid of. All right, that's what I'm about to do. This is what I'm eating for breakfast. This is sourdough bread. Um, I'm trying the avocado toast for the first time. Um, I'm missing the bacon. I want to put bacon on it. So it's avocado with sourdough bread, a tomato, the um, everything but the bagel seasoning. And I did put red pepper flakes on it. I also love peanut butter toast, so this is just the bread with peanut butter. And I'm making my coffee again. Yesterday at um, Home Goods, I did pick up two more of the skinny syrups. So we have white chocolate, and then we have the caramel cream cheesecake one. I think I'm gonna do white chocolate today. My mom cooked breakfast for everyone else, which was sausage and eggs and toast. And Dallas is also having fruit. Berkeley is eating eggs and she had grapes. I was looking to see if she dropped some grapes. She didn't drop she one grape. This is what I have. This is what Dallas is having. Delicious. Wait, apple, apple juice. juice. Mama's tearing it up. So we're about to get ready and go. Watch her eat this. Shopping. I just can't decide. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, she dropped it. All right, y'all. So Bay just came home. Let me show you guys. He bought the Sonicare Diamond Clean Rose Gold and Black Edition. It's kind of like a his and hers um, 
two brush sets. So we originally had um, these. We love our Sonicare toothbrushes, but he went and actually bought this set. Super, super cute. So it comes with the two toothbrushes and it comes with these cups and the cases. And the cool thing is these cups actually charges um, the two brushes. So it says two two brush handles, um, the black and the rose gold, two charging glasses, two USB travel charging cases, two premium plaque control brush heads, two diamond head clean brush heads, and four hygienic brush clean head caps. So this is the his. Um, it's the black with like the chrome. And as you can see, this is the cup. Um, and once you take it out of the glass, it just lights up for you to use. And it has the clean, white, what does that say? Sensitive gum care and then the deep clean setting. Um, and then once you just put it in the cup, it's charging. Like that is so cool. And then the thing is with this cup, I believe you can actually use the glass also once you take it out of here. Not 100% sure, I haven't used mine yet. But it just sits there like that. How cute is that? And then over here, this is mine. I have the rose gold. Again, you just pick it up and it lights up, ready to, sh to show you that it's ready to use. And you just put it right there and it's charging. And this is the case. So you charge it here. Let me see. Let me open this. Oh, so. You just open it like that and when you put I'm assuming once you put your toothbrush in here it'll be charging so this is like a huge upgrade from our last one because let me show you the case for my last one so this is my last toothbrush um, and the charger for it was like this like this and you just had to sit it on there to charge um so yeah that's way different and the case is even way different i don't even know where my case is but it was not a charging case so yeah i just wanted to share with you guys our new toothbrushes if you are interested in those i'll link them down it's just a whole look how cute is that? So yeah. yeah. All right, now I'm finally dressed. Now Charles. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Stop. Now Charles has been rushing me all day to get ready now. I'm ready. And watch, I'm about to have to wait an hour for him to get dressed. But this is what I'm wearing. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit easier getting dressed today. Now that my closet is somewhat put together a little bit more. So this is just a Nike sweater. I got this skirt with a split. My Cortez and this cap, my wig. If y'all ever wonder why I'm always wearing a cap, it's because my wig is not glued down, okay? If y'all wanna be out of my business. <laughs> no, for real though, it's just because I hate gluing my wig down. We're about to go shopping. We're looking for Charles, a desk and um, I need to get some hangers for my closet, for my boots. Um, oh, we're trying to find some curtains for our bedroom because I don't know if I gave you guys an update, but yesterday we got our third consultation for window treatment. So, um, window treatment costs money, y'all. So, we got three different quotes. They range from about, I think, anywhere from let me just tell you they go up to fifteen thousand dollars so yeah um we're really undecided 
what we're going to do. That's the main thing is because like we don't really know what we want to do because initially I did not even want to cover um, the windows like in the living room because you know we have like all of that natural sunlight. I didn't want to cover the windows in our bedroom. If anything we were going to put curtains up um, but not any type of blinds or shutters or anything like that. But Charles is wanting to do that and especially with the curtains in the living room, those will have to be custom made. And as of right now, there's a lot of heat coming in. So we're just like, uh. But we don't wanna rush and put anything in there that we're not gonna be keeping for the long run because we would just be throwing thousands of dollars away. For instance, if we just put blinds up, that's like my last option is putting blinds up i do not want blinds in the living room absolutely not I, that's just my preference for my my house um because of all of the natural light that we get in there and especially for my bedroom either i don't want blinds in there because i just really love all of the natural light that it gives in there um and plus we don't have neighbors on the back so i'm like privacy is really not an issue for us it's just heat it's so much heat and then also in the mornings um if we want to like sleep in or anything it's like the sun just be beaming in our bedroom so it's really we're just like trying to hurry and do something for our bedrooms and the kids rooms um they have curtains up but um just for like when we open the curtains and stuff you know we do want a little bit of privacy for them so we might put blinds up in their rooms but yeah we're gonna look for some curtains for our bedroom today. Um, those do not have to be custom because um, we don't have really tall windows in our room. So yeah, we're about to go shopping and I bet y'all Charles is not ready. Just mark my words, yeah. So we found this Fortnite gaming chair. Look at those for mama. She'll get this thing to blues. She'll be trying to ride it and everything else. So this is actually to be an option for a bar school. We have been struggling trying to find a bar school. And this is like really just minimal and sleek and inexpensive. I really like that. This is counter height. What's the difference? I mean, I know that one's taller, but what's it for? Huh? What's this one for? It's so tall. The bar height is higher. The counter oh. height is like a counter. Oh, okay. So these have to be lower down because we have a counter height. The bar still is like, you know, when you go to a bar, it's up high. So oh. you have to be high. So you know, just imagine this, is if you got a bar, this would have to be higher because you sit up high. Actually, picking up, oh, focus, some furniture. Well, yeah, we're testing out a bar stool. How big it is. Yeah, that's going to be in a box or something. It's already put together. Oh, that's perfect. So yeah, we couldn't get more than one anyway. Okay, good thing we didn't try to get like six. <laughs> that's right. So yeah, we're picking up some furniture. That's what we're doing here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's like so bomb. Yeah, putting together furniture like a fool. I just knew he was going to give me a tiny little box. <laughs> With a whole bunch of... <laughs> okay, so what time does That's this That's a good place? deal. Oh. See, we might need to come back up here six more times. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go to the bar. 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 Y
So we also bought hardware for the kit. Uh -huh. We also bought hardware. Oh yeah, buckle up. For the kitchen, baby's gonna go buy a template for to try to put it on there. We still have not bought Berkeley's hardware for her cabinets, but we'll do that tomorrow. I'm tired. I gotta go edit like. No, I was about to swing through there. No, it's not just swinging through. That's way somewhere else. Well, it's by the Home Depot. I gotta go to. Okay, well we might as well, I guess. We're home. And this is the bar stool that we got and it does not work so I love the way that it looks but this is a 24 inch counter height stool and like I said I love the way that it looks it's really sleek it's like a round back and um, we like this style because um, like once Berkeley gets of age um, it has like not arms but it has like a back and it kind of has sides so she won't fall off and this is like a faux leather so it's easy to wipe off um, it looks good against our black um, counters against our black island however this is my first time seeing a 24 inch counter high stool and it's too low like once Charles sits in it he said it's really comfortable but what's throwing me off is you can't see the back of the stool like you can't you can barely see the the stool from this side of the island and that's like really throwing me off so it's gonna have to go back but we did some measurements and most of the counter height stools that I've been seeing they've been like 25 and 26 inches so we're going to be going with a 26 inch counter height stool that's what we're going to be looking for so the search continues for a stool let me show you guys what else i found today um we're replacing what do we name him i said we were going to name him cleavon this was our um nutcracker soap dish for christmas super super cute this came from target um so yeah we're replacing him i found this cute matte black soap dispenser for the kitchen so it just matches the aesthetics that we have my mama in these towels i'm not use dish towels but she just insists on using towels in the kitchen so yeah it matches the aesthetics in the kitchen so we have a matte black soap dispenser i just refilled it with our soft soap so that's that um yesterday i found this at home goods and then we have hardware that i bought somewhere around here um that we're gonna be putting on maybe I don't know when that's gonna be a whole nother project oh and I want to show you guys what babe is doing it's like 70 degrees outside but this man just be sitting in the house with the fireplace on in these art why is it looking like this on my camera it's like looking like flashing that's so weird right, Oh, you think that's why I'm doing that? Why I'm flashing like that? Um, he, he's just sitting here like with these art um, screensavers on to like mimic us having the art TV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks good, but it's so funny because um, I told you guys earlier we're not getting the frame TV right now because it's crazy because like the frame TV mounts really flat and flush to your wall and we can't do that because I, I don't know if you can see it where's our box okay yeah so we have a lot going on back there anywho the the frame tv mounts really flat to your wall but samsung tvs they have this box and so in order for us to do it right now with this current situation, we would have to like cut a hole into our, into our brick, which will go into our wall. 
just to mount like to hide the box like to make a little shelf for this box to put in there it's a whole like oh in the meantime we're just gonna have this tv because i mean like it's not that serious so yeah we we have we have art here i mean it does look really cool so that's funny though and then we have the fireplace going oh that's cool okay yeah see now it's not like giving that shaky look right here what do you think about that one dallas i like it hey guys what's up subscribe to boss mom poe just help us out and she gonna link a bunch of things in the description